Model Implementation To implement the RWDD model described previously, we choose a C++ programming environment, an object-oriented programming language that offers considerable advantages in terms of advanced structures, such as classes, objects and containers. The C++ code implementing the RWDD approach was named RWDDCPP. In this code, the particle track is defined as a C++ container including all the charge packets described as independent objects. The members of the charge packet class include the geometrical coordinates of the packet and the electrical charge amount per packet. The container content may change during the simulation due to two different mechanisms, 1, minority carrier recombination or, 2, carrier extraction that correspond to particles that escape the simulation domain. For modeling the carrier recombination mechanisms, we use a simple exponential law that adjusts the number of charges as a function of time, nt equals n0 x minus t slash tau. In this exponential law, n0 is the initial number of charges deposited by the particle at t equals 0 s and the time constant tau is equal to the carrier lifetime. In our WDDCPP code, the circuit geometry is implemented as a series of 3D rectangular boxes that represent respectively the substrate, the source and drain contacts at the silicon level and the different wells, all these elements constitute the front end of line, FEOL, structure. A simplified back end of line, BEOL, structure may be also modeled, as a stack of insulating material and metal layers. The fine modeling of the reversely biased drain contacts collecting the minority carriers created along the particle track is the most important improvement of the RWDD model at the circuit level. A special drain class has been developed, embedding in the same C++ object both the drain contact geometry and the 3D distribution of the electric field induced by the drain bias. At this level, different doping profiles can be taken into account for the PN junctions, abrupt, gradual or user-defined profiles. Schematic illustrations of a reversely biased drain junction taken into account in the RWDD approach. The PN junction is defined by its geometry and the bias VR applied to collect and extract carriers from the bulk. A 3D analytical model is used to model the space charge region, SCR, in the case of a gradual or an abrupt doping profile. Both the electric field developed in the SCR, E, and the SCR width, W, are controlled by the bias VR. VR, and consequently E and W, may vary in time due to external circuit feedback. Reprinted with permission from Otron et al., copyright 2014, Elsevier. An object of the class drain is shown in figure 2. This class is defined by its doping profile, an abrupt junction in this case, its geometrical dimensions, W, L, H, the doping levels of the P and N plus regions, not and ND, respectively, and the bias. VR, applied to the collecting contact. A 3D analytical model is used to compute the space charge region, since an abrupt PN junction is considered in this example. The electric field, E, developed in this space charge region and its width, WSCR, are functions of the drain bias potential and can be calculated using the following relations. Where V is the internal potential of the junction and epsilon C is the permittivity of silicon. It must be noted that both WSCR and E can dynamically vary during the transient simulation as a function of the effective carrier collection on the circuit node potential VR, as illustrated in the following. As explained in the previous section, in the RWDD approach, the behavior of each packet of charge is computed independently of the other charges. These processes being independent, the calculation task of the charge transport can be easily parallelized on a graphic processing unit, GPU whose internal architecture is perfectly adapted to such a massive parallelism. Moreover, our WDD model needs to implement a random number generation procedure that is usually very time-consuming. If the random numbers are independent, this task can also be easily parallelized on GPU. These two characteristics of the RWDD model are expected to offer a considerable computation speed, since the number of parallelizable tasks in our WDD is relatively high. In this work, we use the CUDA programming framework proposed by NVIDIA, CUDA version 5.564b. Random numbers are generated using the CUDA current random number generation library, Mersin Twister, within the parallel kernels running on the GPU. Figure 3 illustrates this parallel implementation of the RWDDCPP code. 
For the purpose of this work, we separately tested the RWDD algorithm implemented in series on a CPU and in parallel on a GPU. Tests have been performed on a machine equipped with a 3.2 GHz Intel Core i5 and with a NVIDIA GeForce GTX 675 MX, 960 threads at 600 MHz. Our results show that for the simulation of 100,000 charge packets with 1,000 times steps the speed up on GPU was 140 times with respect to the classical CPU implementation. Program flow for the parallel version of the RWDD CPP code. The main part is executed on the CPU, host, and the RWDD computational part is executed on the GPU, device. The code is also dynamically coupled with SPICE for circuit simulation within the transient event time domain. Reprinted with permission from Goryu et al., copyright 2014, IEEE. Cartoon, at five different times after the ionizing particle impact, illustrating the time evolution of the charge packets induced by a horizontal ionizing particle impacting two adjacent drains. The collection efficiency is different for these two drains since their biasing state is different, Reprinted with permission from Goryu et al., copyright 2014, IEEE. Since the RWDD model has been implemented in an object-oriented language, C++, using dynamic containers, as previously explained in 3.1, complex circuits with an arbitrary number of sensitive areas and collecting nodes can be simulated, intrinsically considering, in this case, multiple node charge collection in the simulation process. The simulation begins with the initialization of the structure and the definition of the circuit nodes corresponding to the different simulated drains. In a second step, the electrical potential of each node is extracted from a steady-state circuit simulation. The values of these potentials are used to initialize the electrical field in the complete structure. Starting the time domain analysis, at each time step of the transient simulation, the magnitudes of the current sources corresponding to the different collection processes, simultaneously occurring at different circuit nodes, are updated as a function of the number of collected charge packets. Figure 4 illustrates this multiple node charge collection process in the simple case of two adjacent drain junctions. The time evolution of the charge packets induced by a horizontal ionizing particle in this two-node structure is shown at five different times after the ionizing particle impact. As evidenced in Figure 4, the collection efficiency of the two drains differs because they correspond to two different nodes in the circuit and their electrical potential, i.e., internal electric field, is not the same in this example.